Well, the Cowboys won, and I think this little celebration would be a good thing right now. Hello, everyone. I'm Dude Do, and I'm the Dude of Sports, the Duke of Entertainment. Sports fans, oh, let's talk sports and play Zelda game time. Sounds like a fun time. Let's have game time and Cowboys. Ooh, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him good. Come here. Dallas Cowboys had the victory, we're victory against the Jacksonville. Now it's time for you, Mr. Washington Redskins, that are on the top. We're coming for you because we want to be on the top, and ah, darn it, where did the sun go? Yes, Dallas Cowboy victory. Victory for Cowboy Country Nation. Cowboys, Cowboys, Cowboys. Oh, man, what a victory it was. And Prescott, hmm, you guys were saying that he was not the quarterback of the future of the Dallas Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, Mr. Beasley was on fire. Mr. Beasley was just on fire. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, the, in the fire. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, whoa, that was cool. I need a replay of that. And, yes, Jason Garrett, you guys, I'm going to say, we're just, not any good. Okay, so if you measure a team by struggles, and every quarterback said, and Troy Aitman had struggles. Troy Aitman had struggles. So why can't Prescott have struggles? Are, are we still thinking about, hey, uh oh. Did you see that? That was quick. That was quick. And, yes, we had a great quarterback in Tony Rowan. He was awesome. He was incredible. But we have to trust in the quarterback we have now. The future is now. The future is hoping that the Eagles don't get on a hot streak and the New York football giants stay where they need to be because they need to stay at the bottom. It's time for them to really just know that it's Cowboys time. It's Cowboys time. And I might sound a little, you know, <laughs> but hey, that's how Cowboys fans are. We have pride in our team, and we're going to be there for the Cowboys, even if they lose, even if they win. We're there for the lose, for the losses, and the wins. Now, Redskins. Redskins, Redskins. You're a team that has looked for a quarterback. You're a team that's sometimes one of the best teams out there. And then, all of a sudden, you just drop off. And playing you is always, what's the word, mm, a, you never can really put your thumb on it, your finger on it, whatever, your hand on it, and say, we're going to have a victory. It's the same thing with the Eagles. But we'll get to the Eagles, we'll get to the Eagles when we get to the Eagles because I really, really want revenge against the Eagles for what they did to us. They embarrassed us. But first, the Redskins and whoever is going to be in our path. And I could go through the schedule, the rest of the schedule, but I'm not going to do that. So, Dallas Cowboys, great victory. Redskins up next. Let's get on a win streak. Let's 
have a win streak. Let's get ourselves on the right track. Should we talk about playoffs right now? Ooh. Or is that too soon? Is that way too soon? No, I don't think it's way too soon. I think there's still hope. I think there's still hope for the Cowboys because there's always hope. And don't listen to any negative stuff that the Cowboy haters want to hate on. Because if they want to hate and drink their Cowboy haterade, do it. I say do it. But you're not going to affect us. We're Cowboy fans. We are the best of the best of the best of the best. We're the best is, the best there ever was, and there ever will be. And I can go through the history of the Dallas Cowboys, why we're the greatest. But, you know, I don't think we have to. I don't think we have to do that because that's why people hate on us. Because our history and because they can't stand how great of a franchise and what Jerry Jones has done for this franchise. So let's all be positive and let's have a great positive I dig it. Well, anyways, let's go Cowboys. Cowboys, Cowboys, Cowboys. And as always, awesome, radical, Calabunga. I'm going to go get that hog.